Okay, get this. Joker 2 is about to release on digital on October 29th, less than a month after its theatrical release. How does that saying go? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. And guess what guys? Joaquin Phoenix, Warner Brothers, and everyone involved in the Joker movie just learned that the hard way. I want you guys to get this. I have had this poster right here. This, this is the original Joker poster. I've had this thing for the last four years, ever since Joker came. I don't know, four, five years. I was literally crying when I was watching that movie because of how stupidly garbage it is. You know, here's the sad part about all this. Joaquin Phoenix had literally solidified himself as the best Joker. I'm not gonna lie. I was one of those people in 2019 who used to say Joaquin Phoenix did it better than Heath Ledger. Joaquin Phoenix had it all. He won a Golden Globe, he won an Oscar, the first Joker movie is at number 75 on IMDb. It made over a billion dollars and it was a certified cult classic. And here's the funny part, Martin Scorsese was almost a part of this movie, just remember that. We went from a good 10 out of 10 Joker movie to garbage. You know what's funny about from this movie losing on 50 million dollars? I think we're at a point where DC is now a liability for Warner Brothers because get this, five consecutive flops in a row. DC is supposed to be Warner Brothers cash cow, but currently it's milking Warner Brothers dry. Almost every video I make in relation to Warner Brothers and DC, I always say one thing. Warner Brothers, the dumbest studio, the dumbest, most laziest and bomb studio. Ben Affleck's Batman was just a victim of poor studio management. This is Warner Brothers, the dumbest studio in Hollywood. Warner Brothers is the dumbest studio in Hollywood. I keep getting proven right over and over again. They keep making stupid mistakes. They keep hiring stupid directors, stupid writers, stupid and greedy producers. Play stupid games, win stupid rewards. This movie literally came out a week ago. My video is not even one week old. By next week, I'll be seeing it in my computer because I'm not gonna buy it. I'm going to pirate it at yts.com. Check it out. At this point, all our hope is on one guy and one guy only, James Gunn. James Gunn is the one guy that's going to bring DC back to its glory days. James Gunn actually gave studio notes to Todd Phillips. He gave them studio notes on how he wanted the movie to go to fit into his universe, but they kept saying no. If you plan on watching the movie, take it from me, someone who's actually sat through that whole garbage. Don't watch that fucking garbage. Don't watch it. Anyway, until next time, Kwaheri.